welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be a bit more of a conversational type of video where we're going to be discussing the differences between classic themes and the block theme. So if you've ever wondered what exactly a block theme is, what is a classic theme, what are the differences, when is it best to use one or the other, this video is going to be perfect for you. So let's just jump right in. I've got two different websites in here. I've got one using the Astra theme. Now, depending on when you started using WordPress, I don't even think it matters. You must have heard of Astra. This is easily one of the most popular classic WordPress themes of all time. And then on the other side, I am using the WordPress 2024 theme, which is a block theme. Now, the first major difference between block themes and classic themes is that with classic themes, Yes, you do have the ability to make some customizations on how your content would look like. However, you're typically limited based on the options provided by that specific classic theme that you're using. So in this case, for example, right now, I'm using Astra. I have the customized link right here. I can click in there. And now you can see that with Astra, I can do things like set the global options. Let's just wait for the page to load for just a moment. I don't know why it always does this. Whenever I start recording videos, my internet immediately begins to act up. Okay, thank you. Now <laughs> the page is loaded. All right. So with the Astra theme, you can see right now that I do have my global option. So I can set like a global typography for like my headers, my body text and so on. I can also do some modifications to like the header, for example, I can build my header. I can add my, my logo, the site title, the navigational menu, things like that. However, if I wanted to do much more than what the Astra theme provides me, I would now need to do some coding. I will need to work with some PHP, some HTML, maybe even some CSS as well. So you're kind of restricted on your ability to edit or create without having to code. However, with the block theme 2024, notice we don't have the customized link anymore. Instead, we have the editor link you click in there and this is what we call the full site editor right here right now i can do whatever i want to do i can create my own navigation i can create my own templates as well i can create templates for like my home page my blog page single pages single post pages and so much more basically with the blog theme you have more freedom to create whatever you want to create and the best part is that typically you don't even need to touch or work with a single line of code, you can do everything from the back end right here. So to recap, classic themes, you do have some options, some limited options to customize how your content would look like, but with the block theme, you have full control. You can do whatever you want to do. Now, the second major difference will involve the actual language used when working with these themes. Typically with your classic theme, they rely heavily on PHP. However, with the block themes, it's usually HTML. Now I wanna show you this, okay? I'm gonna drag over here my Notepad++ software. Now, notice this is the header.php file for a theme called the Nexta theme, which is of course a classic theme. So typically these kinds of files, the header file, the footer file, index file for classic themes, they typically would be in the PHP format and it will be created using PHP. You can see PHP all over the place right there. PHP, 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 PHP. These are classic theme files. However, this is the similar file but for the 2024 theme and notice that it is an HTML file. There isn't a single line of PHP code in here. So classic themes work a lot more with PHP, block themes work more with HTML. However, let me point out something very, very important. I'm not saying block themes don't use PHP at all. They still do, but they typically would use PHP as a fallback option should in case they cannot find the HTML file for the particular kind of template or content that they want to display. So please keep that in mind. Now, another difference between the block themes and the classic themes would be where the template files are typically stored in. Now, with the classic themes like Nextar or Astra or Ocean WP, 
the core files, you will find them in the root folder. Notice right here, this is Nexta, right? This is Nexta. And as soon as I open up the Nexta theme folder, you can see right now that we have the archive.php file, comments.php file, footer.php file, functions.php file, and so much more. However, if I was dealing with the 2024 theme, which is a block theme, you won't find such files in the root folder. Instead, you will find them in a separate folder appropriately called the templates folder. And now right there, you can see 404.html, home.html, index.html, page.html, and so on and so forth. Now, the final major difference between the block themes and the classic themes would involve performance and speed. Now, in all honesty, I personally haven't really tested this out yet, but the general consensus in the WordPress community is that when you're working with block themes, your site typically would perform better than if you're working with a classic theme. And the reason is very, very simple. But the block theme, because you have full editing power, full control, you typically won't have to resort to using third-party plugins like, say, our Elementor or your favorite page builder. You, you may not have to use plugins for CSS styling or some other things. You can just do everything within the theme itself. But when you're working with the classic theme, because you are typically restricted by the options provided for you by that theme, you may need to supplement or add more power to your website by incorporating or including third-party plugins. So... Again, it, it isn't something that I've personally tested, but I believe it's true because it only makes sense. The fewer plugins you have running on your site, the faster and the better your site will perform overall. So please just keep that in mind. So the main question right now is this. When would it be best to use a classic theme? When should you use a block theme? Well, it all depends on what you're going for. If you're building a very simple site, maybe a site for charity or like a very simple blog page, you know, yeah, classic themes would work perfectly. However, if you're building something a bit more complex or let's say something a bit more niche or very specific, you want more control, you want more power, then obviously you're gonna go with the blog theme. Now, there is this idea in the WordPress community that, oh, uh, people who use block themes are typically better at WordPress because they're able to create like their own template files, they have more editing power, and in order to actually work with block themes to the fullest of capabilities, your WordPress knowledge needs to be very, very sound. However, the thing is, if you're working with classic themes, that does not mean that you're not good at WordPress because guess what? In order to actually go beyond the functions and the options provided to you by that classic theme, you need to be able to work with PHP. Also, you need, you need to be able to create your own template files, create your own custom post types and so on. So I just wanted to dispel this notion that, oh, you know, when you're working with block themes, you're a, a, a more refined WordPress developer than if you're working with classic themes. That's simply not true. I don't think it matters whether you're using a classic theme or a block theme when it comes to WordPress capability. Either way, you do need to know how to use WordPress and uh, work with it with the fullest of its capabilities. So that's basically it for today's video where I have discussed the differences between classic themes as well as block themes. Which kinds of themes do you actually prefer? Are you more of the block theme uh, developer or do you prefer using the classic theme? Let me know down in the comment section below. And of course, if you have any questions or comments about anything I've discussed in this video, be sure to let me know. I'll be sure to answer to your questions and concerns. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. And if you're new here to the channel, welcome to the Web Monkey, where I discuss all things WordPress and web development. So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.